pink poodle crafts join the poodle pack it's time to get creative and make you laugh make your own art today pink poodle crafts is the way what a good boy hello good evening <coughs> i have a tickle in my throat I have a tickle in my pickle, a tickle in my pickle, a tickle in my pickle. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. How's everybody doing today? <coughs> I really do have a tickle in my throat. I had a banana split. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was yummy. I made, I made them at home. Hi, Janie and Renee and Sharon. What came in the mail today? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Joy. How you doing, Joy? Let me uh, grab the linky. And stick it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Oh, you got your webcam? Awesome. Very cool, very cool, very exciting. Oh, let me grab my paper because I'm sitting here messing around. Uh, on a bit. I'm going to find my paper. I do it. Whoa, whatever did I do with my watercolor paper. Hey. Where, where'd it go? Oh. Oh, and I, do I still have a big piece left? I think I have one big piece. Do I have one left? Oh, I have two pieces left. I have two pieces left. I do have two pieces. I have one piece left. I have two pieces. But I have a new, or I got a, I got another big watercolor book. Um, so that... Yes, she is ready to live stream. She wants to do it. She wants to be a movie star. So is everybody, hi Sherry, is everybody ready to do some mixed media mashup stuff? I need to find my gesso. Anybody know where my gesso is? <laughs> back here behind all this goobly got that I piled up back here. I made piles, piles of things. Okay, we'll gesso it up. <sighs> Oh, do they really? Oh, crap. I got mine at Michael's. <laughs> well, actually, my, Michael's had to buy one, get one free, and that's when I got it. Because they had it online. And so I got it then, because that was a good deal. Um, so I got two pads for the price of one. And then I have that other one that Katie gave me, which is a nice, on a ring the ringed one which i like that um i'll probably keep them on there and work in that journal doing something um i hate this gesso gets goobly gops in it uh 
uh, part of what I was going to say now. I don't know. Oh, stop it. The little dried bits that like to get into my gesso. See? Yucky. Yucky dried bits. It's not fair. <laughs> tomorrow, guess where I go tomorrow? Get your dried bit. Me too. I don't want you. I don't need the extra texture today. I'm going to have to strain this out and, or something. That's frustrating. They might just be getting a new batch of stuff in or something. I don't think they're going to quit carrying it, but they might be. Maybe they upgraded their cover or did something they're going to be getting new batches in. I don't know. Who knows? Hey, run away. Linda and Robin and River and anyone else that came in. Oh, I was making a mess. Miss Robin, I got your um, package yesterday. I haven't had a two seconds because the last two days all I've done is run around and do errands. Um, and ugh, I literally just got home a couple hours ago. I've been gone all day again. Um, so I haven't had a chance to sit down and go through it. And I didn't even message you that I got it yet. <laughs> I just thought of it now because the box came as we were leaving yesterday. Yours and Sharon's and, and, and Katie's. So, thank you again. Uh, who else came in? Am I missing? Who am I missing? Hi, River. I'm gonna shut down for now. What? What happened? Your other Walmart had a fire? Oh, it was arsonist? Oh, because I, I remember you were telling me that the Walmart, the one Walmart had a fire. Huh. That's crazy. Why the hell would somebody want to try to burn down a Walmart? Because people are crazy. Peoples are crazy. So, who's going to play along with us today? Anyone? Anyone? They didn't get their rollback prices. <laughs> Sharon is. Who else is playing along? Joy is. Who else is playing along? Joy and Sharon.
it's almost dry. Let me throw this heat gun on in a minute. Penny, are you playing along with us? Hi, Penny, by the way. You gonna do some mixed media mashup? Well, anybody who does play along with us and does mixed media mashup, you can be entered to win $10 off at my auction. Well, $5 off or $10 if you spend over 25. So if you, so you can just have $5 off and just have $5, you know, spend $5 on whatever you want. Or if you end up spending like 25 or more, I'll give you $10 off. I can walk you through that when you're ready, Sharon. It's not a big deal. So is everybody ready to play to get some, get all messy? Cleaning up my mess. <laughs> my hands are still dirty from yesterday. They're gross. Well, now I got gesso on top of it. Penny, have you ever done mixed media mashup with us? All right. I'm going to pick a card. And the first card is add paint or ink with a brayer. So add some paint or ink with a brayer on your page. All right, now I need to grab some paint. these three. I'll do pastel -y colors. Where's my brayer at? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. Oh, here's one. Ooh, it's sticky. Why is it sticky? Where's my other brayer at? Huh. So my brayer has disappeared except for this one, which is sticky. I don't know why it's sticky, but it's sticky. That's okay. Oh, do you do? Oh, cool. Oh, Penny T. Trousdale. Is that which Penny you are? Did you change your name? That's why. Duh. Okay. Is it sticky now? Go 
mobs of paint. No, so, oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you are now. Sorry. I thought you were a different penny for a second, but yes. I know that name. I remember. All right, go on, cat. Let's put some dots of paint on here so I can spread them out. Funky. Funkalicious. <laughs> Funky. I just threw my blue across the table. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think it probably is. I don't know I don't know exact memory, but I know the name. over here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Easter colors. Let's give it a little dry. Looks like I melted some peeps and ran them over. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Does anybody need any more time or can we pick the next one? Yeah, you guys don't know each other, do you, Kelly and Robin? Let's pick another card. Add tissue or napkin. Tissue or napkin. Let's see, I'll put that in the tea card. Tissue or napkin. Um, let me go grab some napkin.
Okay, I have to go fetch me a... I got this one, and I've got this one. I don't know which one to use. I think I like this one, though. It's kind of pretty. Got pink and the background yellow, and it's got some blue. So maybe I'll use that one instead of that one. I like it. I like it. I like it. Tanya. Let's see. Let's give it a rip. Let's see what we get out of it. We'll just rip pieces. Maybe I'll stick a piece like that. And then we can rip another piece. Now, this is my glues. Glues. That is sticky. Stickity stickets. So what kind of paper do you guys use? Do you guys use watercolor paper too? When you do this? Or mixed media paper or cardstock or what kind of paper do you like to use? You use watercolor, Sharon? I figure a lot of people do, but I thought some people might use cardstock or something else.
I just find it to be, especially the 140 pound cardstock, the Canson, I find that to be nice and nice and sturdy and a good, it takes the, everything you want to do to it pretty well and I use whatever you have handy. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good way to do it too. Whatever you got handy works when you want to do backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, anything will really work. I mean, I mean, really, if you really wanted to, you could do it on a copy paper as long as you gessoed it right, you know? So. Let me give this a dry. Sherry, you use watercolor and you use cardstock penny on mixed media paper. Yeah. Cool. Now the mixed media paper is that is that is that like the thickness of like cardstock or is it thicker than cardstock or thinner? I don't know because I have like the only mixed media paper I ever had was the kind in the Canson. There was like a book, like a spiral ringed, like and it said mixed media paper on it. I had that and it wasn't super thick. I mean, it's fine, but it I would expect it. it I was expecting it to be like thicker, I guess, than it was. But I don't know if they make it. Other companies might make it thicker or something. It's thicker than cardstock? Oh, okay. You were using napkins to make backgrounds. That's cool. Yeah, large cereal boxes work great. They're like a good, you know, good weight chipboard for that type of stuff and for journal covers too. Junk mail, that's a good one. Good way to use up some junk mail. Yeah, you might as well. I used to collage on junk mail. I'd take like pieces of junk mail and take my scraps, like out of my scrap thing that I have. And I would lay a bunch down and I would just make my own papers by gluing it to junk mail. And then I'd save them and use them to like cut things out of or eventually when I got a die cutter, because I did this a long time ago, I would die cut stuff out of it. Thanks, Linda. I like that napkin. It's pretty. Oops, I ripped it. <laughs> I touched it. I touched it when it was still a little wet. Oops. Don't touch it. Anybody need more time? As soon as I cut this out, I'll be ready to go. I 
we're waiting. We need a few more minutes. What about Kelly and Robin? Are you guys going to do some mixed media mashup today? Yeah, well, that's what this is basically. You're just playing, just adding color. We're not making anything specific. You can use it afterwards for whatever you want. But it's fun to just have a background on hand. You can use it to do whatever you want with. Your day is over. It's not over. <laughs> add tape. This means you can add your washi tape. You can add, you know, any kind of tape that you have. You know, your colored tapes and any kind of tapes you want. Your fabric tapes. Let's see, let me grab some washi tape from up here. Um, I have straws in this basket that's supposed to have this washi tape in it. Um, yeah, in my way, get out of the way, straw. No straws allowed. Um, some tapes. I got this one. Excuse you. I got this one. Now usually I'll take some glue stick because I don't trust that they're going to stick down sometimes. I don't trust it. So if I'm going to do like a piece down here, I'll give it some extra reinforce reinforcements with the glue. It's to be on the safe side. So I never opened this one. I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from a dollar store or something somewhere. Well, nope, it was at probably Walmart for 97 cents. <laughs> Probably years ago. It feels like fabric. Hmm. I'm doing my glasses because I can't see where the heck the end is. Oh, it's got a piece of clear tape over top of the end. Of course. You know it's every Wednesday. Well, it hasn't been consistent lately, but. I'm trying to get back on a consistent basis if I can. It's been every Wednesday forever. Not forever, but... Because, like, the first year it was on Mondays. It's pretty sticky, but I'm still going to add some stuff. It's going to get covered up with other stuff, too, so. Clear tape. Stuff with 
this? What the hell is this? What the hell fire is this? Horse manure going on here. Oh, come on. Come on, jackass. It's a pain in the ass. Can you cut, little dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off my scissors. Get off my scissors. Kind of sticky. You know what? My end has got stickiness on it. So I'm going to take that off. That's all sticky. Oh, you sticky bits. Okay, so I guess it's got like a weird kind of tape film on it. And I suppose did that one, did that one, did that, that one, oh, I got this one to break. Hey, back here. Hi, Chris. Join in with us. We're doing mixed media mashup. I'm giving away money for my auction if you participate. So join in. Grab you some paper. Put some paint on it. Collage a napkin or some tissue on it. And now I'm putting tape on it. And we got some polka dot tape. Tape on there. Susan. How you doing? You had a long day? I did too. Today was a long day. Tomorrow I go get my vaccine. Does anybody need more time? It'll be the first one, first dose. Did you get yours yet, Tanya? All right, let me pick another card. 
use stamps. Use your stamps. You can use your stamps with ink pads, that type of stamp, or you can use your like your household stamps or your foam stamps or any kind of stamps you got. My foam stamps are in the other room. Well, not other room. They're in the they're in the closet back there. So I had to move them out of here for Christmas stuff. So I don't have foam stamps over here. I'm, I might have a couple in here somewhere, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's see if I have. Um, I'm looking for my large flowers. I have like a large. I think I have a large flower here somewhere. Um, oh, here it is. I have this one, it's like hibiscus -y one. Oh, yeah, I got these. I forgot about those. Those are foam ish. Oh, they're foam, but they're here. I'll probably add a few. Yeah, I got these like last year or the year before. I forgot all about these. I can use these with paint and stuff. They have a cling to them. <laughs> Try to put some flurs. Uh oh, I'm gonna lose something on here. I know it. Let's see. Um color should we add? I think we need, let me grab a, a color or two or three or four. Oh, this is, oh, here's the watercolor pad that Katie got me. That's right. This was one, I got one from the creative reviews when I was there. They had this one and then Katie got me this one. This is what I was looking for originally. And then I thought, I was like, I couldn't find it. I was going to do two smaller ones originally. Alright, what do I do with the pink paint that was up here? That's where to find it. Got to find my pink paint. Here's one. There it is. There's one. Got it. my one pink. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Couldn't find it. gather up some paints that I wanted. Um, is this a, okay, it's yellow. Okay. I thought one of these was going to be more similar to that, but I think this one's actually like that dark color. That one's not really. Neither is that one. I think those two together would be fine. And I've got yellow, yellow ochre for some reason. And I've got this tealish color here. Okay. I've got a regular blue, actually. Let's see. Cerulean blue. 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 Yeah, probably. That's okay. I'll live. If 
I feel crappy, I'll know that it's working because that means that my body, my immune system is building up the antibodies needed to make it do the things it needs to do. Let's see. Let's do. Let's put some of this down. And we will make a good old mess here. Make ourselves a paint ink pad. Go to the ink pad. You gotta make the noise. Stuck my fingers in the paint. Okay. Yeah, got high discuss. Keep sticking my fingers in the paint. Stop it. What I should do. I should stamp some of these onto a piece of cardstock since I have paper left. And uh, where's the cardstock? I have it here. This is all too hard. Um, and then I can cut them out later. Since I have some of this left, I might as well see if that'll come out okay if I do that. There's no speculation of why the government is, pu nobody's pushing, they're pushing people hard because they want the pandemic to be over and they want people to be better and not have to worry about it. And, I mean, because more than half a million people have died, so that's why. <laughs> There's no, there's no like massive conspiracy theory. They just want to have, be able to have people go, you know, have their lives back. That's why. You know? It's when you start believing all this weird conspiracy stuff that you're losing sight of what's really going on. And, and the basic of it is people just don't want to be sick and die. And so that's why people get the shot. I mean, the government pushes for you to have health insurance and pay your taxes too, and you know, yada yada. It's just, but it's there's no big conspiracy behind it. It's to save lives. Period. And there's nothing else in this country that kills five hundred thousand people in less than a year. Or so. It's kind of important that we get that under control. And the only way to get it under control is for people to do their part in getting vaccinated so that they don't spread it or contract it themselves and add to the death toll. You know. I'll need the back of this. <laughs> piece of watercolor paper. Uh oh, I need to add some water to this.
can cut those out and use those because that's a really pretty flower. It's nice and big too. You can like watercolor in it or color it or one of the one of those things. Let's find the thing. Yeah, I love this stamp. Um, I had been looking for a nice big flower forever. And I can't, I think I came across this at the Creative Reuse or something a, a while back. Um, yeah, I was glad to have it because I don't, that's the, probably the biggest flower I have is this one. Uh, that, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true, exactly. I don't know where you get your numbers from, but the point is COVID has killed more people. It's the number one killer in this country right now because, you know, <laughs> it's, I mean, if you if you want to believe all the conspiracies and stuff, you know, I can't, I don't promote any of that because to me, it's just, you know, there's always got to be like, for some reason, whenever something happens, you know, there's always people that have to believe these conspiracies that the government's just out to get you, you know, and I don't, you know, it's like, why can't it just be what it is? Because that's what it is. You know what I mean? It's a disease that's killed a lot of people. And that's the proof and that's the fact. And there is no fact of any other kind other than that. And that's it. And, you know, we all want to just see everybody not get sick and get better. And that's the only way we're going to get back to our lives. <laughs> I do a lot of research. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I do a lot of research. You also have to understand that because of everybody wearing masks and staying six feet apart, things like the flu was pretty much non-existent this year, the regular flu, because that is a lot less transmissible than COVID. Things like colds and other pneumonias were like not as nowhere near as high, not even close, because COVID was basically, you know, the massive thing that was the most transmissible thing that was going on so and since everybody was staying home and a lot of people weren't out so many other illnesses that normally kill people didn't happen <laughs> because covid was more transmissible than all of them and it was the main thing that was getting people sick and or dying there was also far less people traveling and when far less people are traveling, there's going to be far less accidents. Okay. There's a lot of like things you got to keep in mind. It's not as black and white as, oh, somebody said that this happened because, you know, you got to look at the big picture. It's not, it, you know, there, not everything has to mean some crazy conspiracy. I've known people have died. I've known people that were sick, you know, 
I mean, I was lucky enough not to get it, even though Chris had it at one point. It's, you know. What did I do with my stamp? Oh, there. Let me find it. But I mean, if you, I mean, you could take anything in the world and read into it and make a, make a conspiracy out of it, out of it if you want to. But the fact of the matter is, if you actually research reasons for things, you'll find there are perfectly good explanations why this is that and this is that. But that's the problem with the conspiracy people. They don't want to hear that. They just want to listen to what that is and that's it. And they don't want to believe anything else. And, and there is no getting around that. And it's just sad because all that does is just create more problems when people don't get their vaccinations and do what they're supposed to do to keep everybody safe. But, you know, if people don't want to get vaccinated, that's on them. Because once everybody's vaccinated, they're the ones that are going to get sick at some point. And, you know, what are you going to do? It's not going to be fun. This pink might be too light. But I just, I don't do the whole conspiracy thing and listen to all these, oh yeah, that's because this is happening and that's happening. Oh yeah, listen, that's just all, you know, all, all that stuff is just non-productive for society. It's just causing more and more problems because none of it's true. It's never been proven true. It never will be proven true. And it's just causing more people to not do something that they should do and potentially could kill them because if they don't get the vaccine. It's just a good idea to, you know, get people get vaccinated and get healthy so that we can all get on with our lives because the quicker that happens, the quicker we can move on and finally have our lives back, you know? I want my life back. What little life I had. <laughs> I didn't have much of a life, but I'd like it back. I'd like to be able to go to a restaurant or something or a movie and not feel like, you know, I could catch something from somebody. I don't want to have to worry about it, you know, that whole fear is sucky enough. everywhere. I know they do. I know people believe what they want to believe because there will always be people that just choose to believe conspiracies over facts because to them, the conspiracies are, you know, fit their political narrative or whatever, but this isn't about politics. This isn't about this, that, or the other. People just need to Take a deep breath and chill out. Not everything has to be. I mean, they're always. Why well, don't I just don't understand why there always has to be some weird conspiracy behind everything. None of it ever proves out to be true. Ever, ever, ever. Conspiracies have been going on since, you know. I mean, sure, I believe there are some, you know, weird, in, weird conspiracies that aren't, you know, but they're not as far fetched as some of the ones that some people come up with. And I believe some of them can be true, you know, in some instances, but you know, then it becomes where people are just going hog wild and, you know, it's every little thing is everybody's out to get you. Everybody's out to get you, but that's never been the case. I mean, I mean, for the last 25 or more years, all we've ever heard is, oh yeah, they're going to microchip us. <laughs> it's never happened. It's never would happen. I mean, 
They don't need to microchip us. If they want, they can see us. They know what we're doing. Believe me. They don't need to microchip us to do that. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> they, they've been saying this for like 20-something years, and, and it's never happened. It's just this constant conspiracy that comes back constantly. People say it as if it's like a new thing, you know, like, oh, this is what's going to happen. And it never will happen. It never is going to happen. It's just weird. It's just silly. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. They already they already track us if they want to. We all have cell phones. And nobody's giving up their Facebook. I mean, so, but I mean, it's just silly stuff. We all need to just look out for the things that we need to look out for and not worry about silly conspiracies that are just going to waste our time and not be productive to get anything done. I need, um, maybe I'll do this color yellow. It's weird. Maybe I'll do this blue one. Or maybe I'll do both. Oh, I know it. That's what I mean. Like, there's so many, there's always been, no matter what, there's always been some sort of conspiracy, and they've never been true. You know, like, the ones about this vaccine, that vaccine, all they've ever done is save lives, but, you know, nobody, you know, we're not saying it now, like, ooh, you know, well, why does the government want, why did the government want us to take those vaccines? Well, maybe because it saves our asses, you know? You think what you want about the government, but you know, they ain't going to make money or be able to have money if our whole society dies of COVID. You know what I mean? So think of it that way if you need to. But I mean, when it comes down to it, <laughs> it's not good for the country as a whole for us to be sick. Any way you look at it, it's just not. It's not good for anyone anywhere. And I made like a weird green color. That's okay. It started out like a blue and yellow and then it kind of quickly escalated into like a green weird color. They put a computer chip in you. Yeah. They don't like I said, they don't need to put computer chips in you. They have a computer chip in your phone. But we're all using our phone. Nobody's gonna give them up. That's what I mean. Like <laughs> if they told you tomorrow that the government is tracking you through your phone, how many people here would throw their phone out? None. Guaranteed. You'd all go, oh well, who's not gonna give up your phone? No, I don't, I don't think any one of us would. We wouldn't care. We'd be like, whatever, we ain't doing nothing. You know, but they're not. They don't, how can they possibly? It's just, that's a ridiculous theory. How can they possibly? I mean, there's over 300 million people in this country. And you know how many, like, FBI and government agents there are? <laughs> Even if there was a million, how are they supposed to, supposed to track 350 million people in this country? This is not possible. It doesn't make sense. It's just a little common sense goes a long way. And I believe they should... Oh, I don't like that color as much. Now that's spread it out. Maybe if I add some of this to it. And watch it turns out pukey. Oh. 
<laughs> so I'll trade five would be funny, wouldn't it? Somebody's Facebook, there was somebody posted something about the vaccine and then somebody in their comments made this comment about how the vaccine, it was this crazy conspiracy. It was absolutely ludicrous. And it was, <laughs> I almost thought it was a joke. Like, I was like, there's no way a person actually believes this because <laughs> it was just hilarious. It was just, you know, and I had to respond to this person and say, honey, you might want to take a few months off of Facebook and just like go away from the computer for a while because whatever you're reading is just, <laughs> has done a number on you because <laughs> this person was nuts. Yeah, it's very springy, apparently. I guess that's what I... I guess I'm in the spring mood. I don't know. Springy. Oh, I missed one. It's a good concept, but these... The, but whatever they're using to stick, not very good. Not very good sticking to the box. I mean, it does, but I could see it where it coming off pretty easily at one point. Okay, let's get them over yonder. Uh, let me dry this a little bit. All right, are we ready? I can't find Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Are we ready for the next one? Use pink. Didn't I just use pink? Use pink. Well, if you didn't use pink, use pink. If you did already, you can skip it or use a different pink. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get a pink and I'll fill in my flowers a little bit. I'm gonna get a different pink though. A different one. Try this one. Mm. 
<laughs> oh god. Good night, Tanya. Straight line to save my life today. I keep painting it crooked. I'm going over my darker pink line. Somebody probably, yeah, somebody probably cremated his ass in a furnace. That's why he's never been found. That was quite a disappointing Geraldo special, wasn't it? <laughs> he just was adamant that he was going to find him. Wasn't <laughs> Geraldo's the one that did that, right? With the that special years and years ago, digging him up, thinking he found, or was that somebody else? I mean, I know it was Geraldo that did it, but I mean, was it not Jimmy Hoffa that he was looking for? Or was that somebody else he was looking for? I can't remember, but whatever that was, it was. <laughs> I was I was very young when that was on.
Oh, that was Al Capone. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was Al Capone's vault. That's right. He was looking for the money or whatever. <laughs> Al Capone's vault. That's right. <laughs> Why well, I thought it was Jimmy Hoffa, I don't know. Same difference, but whatever. This is just weird. He was just positive that was going to be <laughs> what he found, too. That was funny. Yeah, it was disappointing. I remember watching it because my mom was watching it, but I remember being like, okay. My mom was like, yeah, he's going to find this, you know, gangster's money and blah, 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 that's been hidden. And I was like watching it. And then when it didn't happen, I was like, okay, then. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, that sure is. <laughs> okay. All right, does anybody need any more time? Hi, Nina, by the way. Hi, Angela. inspirational words get you some pens or markers or whatever you got you can add some inspirational words to your piece hiccup <laughs> suck you suck you suck why you suck so bad why are you not working what's your deal i don't know Let me shake it up Light. 
point because it's gonna suck the butt. Oh yeah, I remember that too, Angela. <laughs> I'm gonna give a whole new meaning to the word butt base. You're just too light. I'm going to find a darker, a darker marker. Mm -hmm. big in. That's hilarious, Susan. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's a good theme. Bye, Nina. Have a good night at work. All mine were named after Winnie the Pooh characters, except for Willow. She was the first one that wasn't. All right, we're gonna pick another card. Add die cuts or punches, like punched out bits.
and I probably can add some flowers. I've got these. Um, I've got like that one. my glue. There it is. One there. Stick one over there. Maybe we'll stick this one right there. What did I say? Nope, stick it there. Just stick it. Good night, Kelly. It's very springy. Springy looking. Lots of flowers. Lots and lots of flowers. Does anybody need any more time? On that one. I think I need to fix this over here. There's a section where the tissue didn't get put down very well. Okay. And we shall pick another one. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a. Add some lines. Add you some lines. Mm. Hmm. 
And I'm going to use a card or something. That's what I have. Oops, well, we open. That was the cut down. I'm going to do that. Very easily. There's too much crap in here, that's why. Let's see. A card and um, what color? Let's see, what color have I not used over here? I think I used well, I didn't really use this one very much because it kind of mixed with the yellow and made a weird green, so we'll use this one. my lines. Now I just need to dry them a little bit. Does anybody need time with their lines, or are we done? If you need time, let me know. Fingers are dirty. Very, very dirty. People must, I swear people must think I dig in the dirt all day long. They've got to. Poodle pass. Poodle pass. 
do what you want. That means a free spot. You can do what you want. I'm going to do what I want. You can't stop me. Maybe I'll do um, Maybe I'll get a stencil and do something. Maybe I'll do something stencil-y. Like, gotta get this unstuck from each other. There we go. Like that one. And, let's see. Ooh, maybe that one. I'm just grabbing bunches out. Ooh. Let's see. Um, let's do teeny tiny flowers and we'll do them in um, like a metallic color. Let me grab some sort of a metallic from back here. Got some metallic colors going on. Hard to get these open when they've got glue, I mean, paint stuck in them. They definitely are not easy. Okay. You going to bed, Linda? You going bed by? say so. A tad more.
new word. New word color. I got these little feathers we can do with the gold. See what I thought on there. Heat it a little. getting somewhere we can make us some little feather bits I guess I should put more than one next to each other that might be better because that one gets kind of hidden a little bit so we'll do these two here okay here we go Stick a couple over hither. Don't you forget. some dots in orange. There's nothing, not really any orange on here, is there? Not really. We'll add a little orange metallic. Ow. Pull a nail off of my finger. Just snap it up with a little orange. Snaz it. Just snaz it. Get out of 
Some more time. Okay. We've got one more, and then our optional. Looks like spring vomited all over this piece of paper. <laughs> Okay, hmm, let's see what we're going to do with yellow. Hmm, I don't know, what are we going to do with yellow? Stencil and use this color. Use a little bit of that. Let's see if I can get anything I like out of that there stencil. Yeah, we got a few of those. Just a few. Yellow is a hard color to do over top of a lot of different stuff because it's more on the translucent side of things. Sometimes it can get a little lost. Good night, Robin. Thank you again for my box. Get some sleep. I'll show the stuff in the box probably on like Friday or Saturday. A sneak peek before the auction.
I'm going to put the optionals up there. Uh, the first optional is use metallic paints. I kind of already did that. Mm -hmm. I've done that already. Use your paint and ink sprays. Don't think I'll be doing that one. Oh, and the third one is use orange. Hey, I already did. So there. I already used orange. So I can consider mine doom. <laughs> if yours is done, stick it up in the group and put MMM number sign 165. And I think there was one or two people that did it with us, so. <laughs> cut up it'll look cool chop it to bits and don't forget if you're in the patreon uh, we're having our class on Tuesday for the um, I just forgot what we were doing <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? Oh my god, why did my brain just draw a blank? Um, I seriously just drew a blank. What are we doing for the Patreon class? Something. We're doing something. Box? A box. We're doing a box? What are we doing? No, we're not doing a box. In the box? No. No. Oh, the shadow box, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking box box, like, you know, the lid. I don't know why I was thinking that. <laughs> so we are, technically, yes, we are doing a box then. You know what I did? Um, I had gotten, if you go to Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, you can get um, gift boxes, a set of three of them that has the lids and the box. And that would make a perfect shadow box because you could just glue together um, the lids and the boxes to like form it. You can make it as big as you want because you'll have six or you can do like five. I'll probably do five of them put them together and glue them, you know, lay them out and then hot glue them together and then alter them. I mean, there's no point in uh, buying a shadow box if you don't have one. I mean, unless you want to. But those boxes will work great, you know. But they have those gift boxes over in like the gift section where they have like party stuff and stuff like that. They have like, they were, these were hanging like in a bag type of thing on a peg, you know, like on one of the pegs by like where the bags are, you know, the the, the paper bags for like putting birthday stuff in, you know, the gift bag, that's it. They were over there hanging on the wall and I went, oh, I need some of those. Duh. So I grabbed two packages and you get one really long one, which is perfect. And then you get, you get three different sizes, which is great. So this way you can put them together as a shadow box. And it's, I mean, you can get one package and you'll have six, you know, cause you can use the lids and the boxes are basically the same size and thickness. And it doesn't really matter either way. You can just, you know, so yeah, for a dollar, I mean, it works great for a shadow box. 
So keep that in mind if you want to work along with us or in the future even. Because that works well. It gets the job done. Um, let me put some of these back so that they're out of my way because I'm going to grab Carl because I want to cut and see what some of these look like if I make them a little smaller. Let me put these back. Right now they're in my way. As is everything in my way in this room. This room has become a pit. away. Okay. We posted it. Okay. I'll go look in a second. Who else worked with us? Did you do one? Um, Katie? Let's see what I like about that. Cut like that. And then I like a couple of ATCs. Let me see. I forget how big this is now. 11, I can get. Some ATCs and then this can be, um, could do like a, do that. Some little ATC background bees. This is four of them. And some cord thingies. I still have these. And I can do something with the late toast. Okay, Joy.
squeaky noise. Thanks, Katie. They would make cute cards. <laughs> These came out pretty cool, too. These flowers. They're going to be neat to have. Let's get the ones that are posted. I want to see them. I want to see them. Let me refresh because I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I probably needed to refresh. Come on, refresher. Asia. I didn't know you were working on one tonight. Yours came out really pretty. I like all your colors. Very pretty. Beautiful. Did I say your name right? We've gone over this before, but I forget. <laughs> Joy. Yours is really pretty. I love yours, Joy. I'm using that fern again. Do you have almost the same pajama pants on that I do, Joy? <laughs> well, well, oh no, I don't have those on, but I have ones just like that, Joy. I thought I had them on just now, and I realized I looked down and I went, oh no, I don't have those on, but I have ones very similar to that. They're pink and white, um, like a plaid looking or whatever, just like that. 
and they're nice and lightweight. Ooh, Sharon's is pretty. What is that yellow stuff? Is that like a texture paste or something? That's cool. That's really cool, Sharon. Very pretty. And Janie, I saw that you got yourself a little cutter. You got you a little cutter. So let's write down who was, who did the thingy. Oh, here's a piece of paper. That's a piece of paper. We got Asia. Very pretty. Everybody said very pretty. Very pretty. And the joy. And Miss Sharon. Very pretty. Anybody else? Am I missing anybody? I know it's, well, it's the same one as this one, right? It's, it's the same one. <clears throat> oh, oh, cool. It looks like it's almost like a texture page. You probably could run it through a stencil with a palette knife almost. Oh, when it dries, it kind of like tones down. Oh, it's really pretty. So if that's all the three we have, if there's somebody else that did it, let me know now before I put them in a cup and pick a winner. Pick us a winner. And the winner will get $5 off my auction. You can use your, you know, $5 kind of like a gift certificate, sort of. Um, or if you spend over $25, you'll get $10 off your $25. Where did you find the tiny cutter? Oh. See, mine I got it at, at Walmart, but then I went back and they didn't have any more. And then nobody else could find them at Walmart either. So I was like, okay, maybe they only had them as a one-time thing. I don't know. It's very weird. Very bizarre. I need a cup. No cup. Where the hell did my cup go? Well, those are cold. <laughs> Let me find out something. Oh, here I have this thing going. Last time, my little measuring cup. You missed what? What did you miss? Mine looks bigger? No. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. It's yours is the six inch one. It's the same one, right? This is the same thing. It's, it's, you know, well, if you actually measure it, it measures almost eight inches, but that's like the paper part where you put paper in is six inches. So it's six inches where you put the paper, but all, all together it's eight inches and then wide. It's like what, four inches wide? five inches wide if you count the edge of the handle here, but four inches as far as cutting surface. So yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same exact one. Same one. They should make one that's three inches. <laughs> Little tiny guillotine cutter. Okay, let's pick a wiener. Okay, I got the wiener. Asia. Ah, let's see if we can get a show. Asia, you won. Are you in here, Miss Asia? You won, you won. If you're if you're out of, um, if you're overseas, which I'm not, I don't know if you are or not, 
Um, but if you are, let me know and I'll, because, you know, if you get something at my auction, it might be very expensive to ship. So if you are, let me know and I can send you like a prize of some sort, like send you something. But otherwise, if you come to my auction someday, you'll get $5 off or $10 off, $25 or more. Whoa, where'd my thing go? There it is. Congrats, congrats. And also, if you come to my auction, you may have to remind me of that too, if I forget. <laughs> I forget but I don't think I will because your name stands out to me so I'll, rem I'll, I'll most likely remember better that color or together I could do that I think that would be pretty I think it would be pretty good night Angela the rescue <laughs> Carl should be a superhero blades that the creative reuse and I wonder if they'll fit this but I, I don't know because I haven't even opened it to see what size those were so I don't know if they'll actually fit that one I don't remember oh yeah I think 
do something with this to get it off. I think you have to unscrew it or something. But I'd be interested to see if the blades would fit. Even though I don't really need a blade, that one's perfectly fine. But in case I did at some point. Just in case of need. So I went to the Creative Reuse today. Did I mention that? I don't remember if I did or not. I think I said I, I did. Okay. Chris was willing to go with me and help me, so I took advantage of that. It makes it easier. Which way does it go? Because this is almost square now. Oh, it does go that way. Okay, something's uneven, and I can't tell if it's the card. I think it's the card. Did I cut you crooked? No, you're not crooked. Are you crooked? Oh, you're crooked. You crooked little sucker. What do you think you're doing? Being all crooky. That means all the sides are going to be crooky. Well, I think we need to cut that down a little bit. Trim that ever so slightly. Just to make it fit a little wee better. A wee bit better. And I've had to trim all the other ones. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Or yellow. Something. I have. I don't know. I don't like that here, but I have that yellow, which might look okay. 
Maybe. Get out. On this one, they're hard to open. I had to get messy, didn't I? No, we'll just have to do this side. Got kind of messy. or something like that dark pink um, does I have a dark pink does I does I I do kind of sort of is it gonna be that pink though it's, that's a, like a red pink always do the red with the pink and it would I've done that before mix them together they kind of come out looking sort of okay sort of kind of I start with the red or something and then Did y'all pass out? What happened? Wake your butts up. Chris, you doing any crafting tonight? I'm going to dry the edges of this. These. Oops. 
on your butt anybody know anybody know what did I miss something anybody know The Muffin Man. Isn't that how song goes? Anyone know the Muffin Man? No, I don't know how it goes. I took a guess. <laughs> no, do you know the Muffin Man? Not anyone know the Muffin Man. <laughs> oh, what are you going to put on the side? Oh, did you ask that already? Oh, it might not have showed up in the chat. That's probably why. To smooth it out? Oh. Tch. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't know if there is anything you can do about that. They do make styrofoam uh, eggs that are smooth, but it doesn't sound like you got one of the rough ones. I don't think you can smooth them out, can you? I've never heard of anything you could use to smooth them out with. Yeah, I don't know if that would work. I seem to remember either. I seem to remember somebody doing that and it didn't do. It didn't work out. But with like a texture paste type of thing they put over it or something and it didn't smooth it out. Oh, this is a ding back. But, you know, you can try it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I don't know what I was watching, but it wasn't an egg either. They would, it was like a round thing, I think. They were trying to smooth it out with something, and they used some sort of texture paste, and that didn't, didn't work for them. Foam paste. Oh, you want to decoupage it? Mm, yeah. You can't get any smooth ones, um, Joy, like online somewhere. Amazon, maybe. You can always get the plastic eggs and decoupage them. Because they're smooth. Unless you need it to be styrofoam for some reason. Ooh, 
Okay, let's see. Spray paint will melt the foam. Well, I don't know if that would smooth it out though. It, it's probably going to melt it unevenly. Wouldn't it? If it does. I didn't know spray paint. I've spray painted the styrofoam before. What the hell kind of spray paint are you using? I spray painted a styrofoam um, trees. The what are they? Cones. That's it. They didn't melt. I think he was on drugs. <laughs> Maybe I should use a piece of that. Hmm. Is it a certain type of spray paint? Because the kind I use didn't do that. paint was I using then? Oh, maybe maybe the foam was different. I don't know. Hmm. Is it all spray paint? Uh, no, I didn't spray paint foam. Those were cardboard or paper mache, that type of material. Actually, I don't think they were foam. Never mind. They weren't foam. They, no, they weren't foam. They were the paper mache kind of cones. I just realized that. <laughs> Oops. Oh my God, I didn't know that would happen. No, it was paper mache because they were brown when I started. That's right. They were brown. And I was afraid I was painting them pink, spray painting them pink. And I was afraid that they were going to, the brown was going to show through. But it didn't. Because I did two coats. But that's what made me think of it. And realize that it was not styrofoam after all. Sure. Put it wherever it wants. I'll do it in the middle. Just because I said so. And the card is backwards. Oopsie, this way. Dumbass. Still in the middle, just <laughs> I almost made a French card. Cute, cute cards. Cards are cute. Hmm. 
posted a picture in the group, I'm assuming. Oh. Oh, they're not like the really rough ones. So if you you can't decoupage over that. Is it gonna really show that bad? Have how about gessoing it a few times? Since it's a you know, not I thought you were talking about the styrofoam that's like the really roughy kind. I didn't know you were talking about that kind, it's like the semi smooth kind. Maybe um Oh, you, oh, never mind. I see where you said you put gesso on it. Never mind. Dang. What if you put, um, a couple of, what if you put like, uh, um, texture paste? Do you have like a texture, like a, the light molding paste or whatever? Cause you can brush that on and brush it on like sort of thick and let it dry and then put another coat put like two or three coats and then take light sandpaper and kind of very lightly hit it in case like there's brush marks or something. And you could try that. Let me take this off of there. You know what I mean? Because it's possible to Maybe it'll work because the molding paste, the light molding paste would be like brushable to brush it on. Oh, my yonder. The ones on the watercolor paper. Whew. Come on, jackass. Open. It's worth a try, I guess, right? Don't come for me if it don't work. <laughs> color on it. Okay. What the hell color is on this? Now it's gone.
what happened. And I got poked up and worked over at the doctor. Uh oh. Mm. Doctors are annoying. I'm just gonna do a small yellow. What were they doing to you? Blood work and all that jazz? Yeah, it was a stamp I used earlier. I put some paint on it. I put some paint on it, and so I stamped the outline in pink, like a dark pink, and then I just took the watercolor to it because it's on watercolor paper. I was trying to get little doodads on there, but. It's hard to see because it's like the camera's blowing it out a little bit. It's not quite that dark. I do want to get back, Whoops, get back here. I want to get a little bit of that pink in there that I missed on that one. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's do. We're gonna use this now. Colors. Some color to it that way.
me one baby wipe, please. If I were to fussy cut it out, it might look okay. It might look okay, it might not. It's kind of a crapshoot, I'm not really sure. Is that part of the flower? Hmm, you're telling me. I guess so. Looks like it is, sort of. And this thing here couldn't make any sense to me. Maybe if it did that better, it's a little better. So. No, no focusing. Focusing. You suck, camera. You suck, camera. That's cute, I think. Throw a little bit of water on there. To kind of lift up a little bit. Yeah, spotted action going on there. Okay, we got some spots. Is it really that difficult for you to focus, camera? Where's my finger? Focus on it. Oh, you suck. You suck. And this one is much brighter.
actually, I'm like, since I didn't color that, I just need to take it out. I forgot to color it, so it doesn't need to be there. different hibiscus flowery things. That one does not look as bad as it does on the monitor in real life. It looks awful on the monitor. But it ain't that bad. It's just the way it looks on there. Cute. And what's nice is because I stamped it in the paint the background doesn't get disturbed. Obviously, you can use stays on, but it gives it, you know, stays on. Unless you get, I have pink stays on, I think, but I like the texture it gave it, you know. You can always watercolor paper and then wait for it to dry, and then you can take paint, whether it's gold paint or whatever color paint and then you could stamp it onto just the watercolor paper that's already colored so that then you don't have to worry about coloring it afterwards. Hi Laura. What are you up to Laura? Yeah, I saw your your beautiful clusters, Laura, in the group. Jamie had posted them. And your tags and stuff. Beautiful, very beautiful. You're very talented. And your butterflies. Yeah, they're beautiful. Sure, I'm sure, Chris. That would be fun. <laughs> what do you think? You dropped something again? <laughs> You should glue the butterflies all over Dwayne's head when he sleeps, like all over his face. And then when he wakes up, he'll have butterflies on his face. <laughs> Maybe he won't notice. some 
TCs that I can bring to my room back there when I do my orders and stuff. I can put them in. I can put them in because I'm running low on stuff to put in. Oh, I have this napkin. This piece of napkin. I wonder what it would look like over that. No. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to put it over something. But. Yeah, no. No. No, no, no. I don't want to do too. No. Where's the piece of card stuff that I've got? These little pieces. Here we go. Is this one? Yes. Give me. That would be pretty on there, I think. Oh, I remember that, Janie. You tell me about that. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I very wanted to kill you. I love clusters, they're fun to make. And they're nice to use in a journal or whatever. You can use them on anything, really. Sticky fingers. Sticky as hell. Get off me. <laughs> Honk if I should get a raise. <laughs> Did he get honks? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, don't get a camera just for that reason. <laughs> That's a pricey investment just for that.
get it because you want to go live yourself at some point and do videos and stuff you know But just the, you need a webcam, a Logitech webcam would be the best thing, something with autofocus. They're about, uh, I think it was like $69 was the one that I gave the link to Sharon for. Get off there. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool. I thought you were getting a camera just to come on here to craft one. <laughs> like, just to come on here to do some crafting once in a while. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of money to spend for that. No, but if you're, if you want to do videos and stuff, then yeah. You totally need a, you definitely need a, uh, what do you call it? Um, a webcam. Whoops, I'm cutting it. I didn't mean to cut it. Oops. Oopsies. Oh, cool. Awesome, Katie. You got your new camera. But I can send you a link, Chris, with the camera. That is the one that I use, even though focus is a pain in the ass, but no other camera has decent autofocus anyway. And uh, it's the best one out there for stuff that we do. Yeah, you can use your phone too, yeah. And the phone actually does well as long as you keep it plugged in. The only thing is you don't have a display to look at really because your phone is usually above you and you can't see what you're doing, but and you I mean, well, yeah, I mean you can put you can watch it on a laptop or a computer or something, but it'll be a little delayed. Let me see if I have the link to the camera. Let's see. Um, I think it's the one I was looking at. Come on, pop up the link, dummy. Good lord, what are you doing? There you go. Goodness gracious, it took forever. Okay, I put the link in for the camera. You 
you, yeah, use your tablet to read the chat. Yeah, it works. I mean, yeah, it, you can use your phone. The phone works good for that. Papers. Let's see. I only have a half a piece of that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. either. You want stamps? Cool. What kind of stamps are they? Cool. 
you'll have to put a picture up when you get them. Speaking of line stamps, I got some interesting stamps that the creative reuse that are like some sort of a line or something. I don't really know, but I have a bunch of them, so. Oh, it was a year ago. Oh, I thought it was recently. <laughs> Oh, that's supposed to be a leaf. Okay, I get it now. Here, I thought it was some sort of petal or something. Hmm. Pussycat, pussycat, pussy, 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 cat. Jesus. That camera does not do good with focusing. No focus. No focus, Daniel son. Bye, Katie. Have a good night. Some high biscuits, high biscuits. <laughs> mm. 
you sent a picture in the messengers. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they're like little labels and stuff. Cool. Very cool. Those are neat. Do they? Oh, I see. They pop out there. Oh, that's cool, Danny. That's a good win. Very cool. I could probably make those lines a little darker too, with like a pen or something. That's not a dark one though. It's probably darker. Staying in line. Staying in line. I suck at staying in lines anymore. It's a little better. It's a little darker. A little darker. Interesting. Well, I think I'm going to get off of here for tonight because I'm tired. I've been tired all day. So, I've been tired all day because I got up at like 9 o'clock this morning. It's a long room and you're going to have it filled up with stuff in no time <laughs> like my room is except I'm trying to purge in the process but anyway thanks for hanging out everybody and doing mixed media mashup those who did and even if you just hung out and watched I appreciate it and, uh, yeah, I will be coming on at some point, either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday to show you guys some cool stuff that I got. Um, and then stuff that I got from Miss Robin and stuff that'll be in the auction and whatnot. So I hope you guys will hang out then. Um, yeah, have a good night. Have a good night, Sharon. And Janie and Laura and Chris and Renee, if you're still here, and I know Katie left, and everybody else, and Janie. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Poodle back out. Pink poodle crabs.
Just join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.